Hello, hello, hello. This is Darcy. Welcome to my channel where once again I forgot to plug in the microphone. Oh my word, every time. Well, 90% of the time. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome any new subscribers. Uh, well, there haven't been any in the last couple days. Nay, can you please make that stop? Nathan, mm -hmm. can you make the alarm stop? Press the one, two, okay, please. All right, I am working on cleaning my craft room. And obviously, if you could see, today I'm working on stamps. And um, with my stamps, I did a thing. And I thought I would show you. Now, the thing I did requires whoops, some double-sided tape that is removable. Not the permanent, but the temporary double-sided tape. Because... Well, here we, I've been wrapping all of my, uh, here, let me show you this real quick. I was able to fit all of my stencils in this. Can you see them all? I had made little envelope, well, not little, long envelopes, which fit in a drawer that I have, and then put little dividers in between each stencil so they don't get caught on each other. And most of my stencils fit in this, which is great. So I was trying that with my stamps, but yeah, stamps are wider. Oh, this is um, these little stencils. I used the package it came in so I could still see all that should be in there. And then I just folded that around and then just um, glued this around into the back of there to make a little pocket for those stencils. That was fun. And then I've been working on organizing these. I've got some folders in there too to kind of keep them separated because when I have them like this in a box they just fall over and I need to figure out how all right we're gonna test it on this one what I think I want to try is I want to cut off the back part of this plastic and I can't always get a smooth line so I'm just gonna fold it under because then I don't have to worry about it if it's a smooth line and now when I bend it over now when I fold it over like that to tape it it won't have quite as much resistance so the only other thing to do maybe is to I think this is part of the problem there so now I've turned it into a little bit of an envelope and now I think my tape will stick better and not be pulled off by the the pressure so yeah I'm gonna do that to all these so they have custom envelopes pretty much which makes me think do I want to cut these down no I don't want to do it deal with all that but this one I would actually take down taking you down like that and then if I have like small stamps I could use it for that and then I want to cut that down and I want to cut on this side. And then I'm going to fold this in like I just did the other one. There, perfect. I hope. And then fold that over so that I won't have so much. I'm like, what did I do with it? Well, duh. And then just use a piece of washi tape. There, it, I can already tell it's not being pulled at as much. So, I get these on Amazon. They're just the 5 by 7 little things. Um, uh, you know, document protector type things. Alright, but here's the thing I did. I don't even know where this set is. <laughs> I can't find that set. So, I... Uh, Wood stamps take up so much space, and I, w I knew I was getting myself a new um, stamping platform, which I did. I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't tried it yet, and I knew that I was going to want to do, like, my, uh, you know, like, these on this, but I knew I couldn't if they were on wood, so I took them off the wood. I had to end up, I did uh, order a new acrylic stamp that would be big enough for these for when I don't use this. Um, and I might have to back it with foam when I use that. I don't know that they're quite as thick when they don't have the foam on the back. If the thickness 
is it's pretty similar but I haven't tried that yet but um, doing it on just paper works fine I just use that where's the tape Hold on, let me move some of this stuff out of the way I know it drives some people crazy I mean I'm not popular enough to have people complain yet so these just keep coming off so yeah I'm gonna fix those that'll be project for today is rest of today is fixing all those uh, plastic things all right so like this had been that's actually I used the when it was still in the wood I used it and it had that little um blur on it when I used the wood one so let's see if we still get that when we use let's get some scraps here and about some So that I can kind of give you an idea this is the one I can find right now so I've got I just put the double sticky tape right on here and this paper goes on doesn't fall off comes off it's just a piece of cardstock that I was probably not going to use for anything because it's a little bright And it still comes out pretty close. Good enough for what I want. I could probably ink it up a little bit more. But it's worth it to have um, the space. So, and then I made this little box to put some of the, one, the some of the bigger ones in. So this is these ones I inked after I took them off the block. These were on a big square block. So they took up, like, I couldn't even fit them where it, so they, they took up, like, this much space. <laughs> so now they take up, they can fit in this box. Before, they would not have fit in that box. All right. Now, it's really easy. Let's see. Sometimes when you pull them, the whole thing wants to come off. But sometimes, just this piece comes off, which is nice. That's, that's what, ideally, what you want is for just that piece to come off. Um, on these, I did that on this one, but these I hadn't mounted yet, so I just put um, the sticker on the back that comes with it and just skipped mounting it onto the block. And if I ever need it to be thinner, I can just take it off that foam, but I think it will be okay. So I will never mount another sticker again, as long as I have acrylic blocks and double-sided tape. I should be good to go. All right, get that out of the way. Let's not be stupid and dangerous. So yeah, I know it's a mess, but things always get worse before they get better, right? And all these little, all the stamps that I had just put away, these are all the pieces that I was like missing, so. Once I put a new thing on this, I'll be able to tell where it's upside right. A life richly blessed is one encircled by true friends. And it came out nice and clear. So I'm very excited to have space. So then I just cut this out. It doesn't have to be as big as the stamp. As long as there's not a lot of sticky on the back of the stamp. And then, where is it? Here it is. Take my Fabrifix. Because, alright. And then I'm going to make sure a life so this is the top. I'm going to lay it like this on here because I forgot to do it before and I've got all this ink here, but I've got alcohol, so I should be able to. So that's the top. And you just, you know, fabric fix. So far, it has stayed on the rubber. And I, the um, double-sided tape should last even longer with just using the paper as opposed to the rubber that's but it's, I haven't had to replace it yet. So I'm thinking, you know, one thing. And it, th this is not cheap. This was like 8 bucks, I think, on Amazon. This is 40, 400 inches or 11.1 .1 yards. But this is probably the only product, project I'll use it for. And, you know, even though I keep turning it over, it's still sticky. So, and then I'm going to have all my words in one place. So now let's do dream. Look, it just wants to come off. I don't know if I can get this part off or not. Nope. That part does not want to come off. 
So, stick this right here. And I've just been using archival ink on all of them. So now all my inks, all of my stamps will all have that. And I'm okay with that. It's weird when it looks like a P, huh? There we go. I got a little smudgy, but that was user error. I think if I can get rid of that, if I can get that um, foam stuff off. But if it doesn't come off easy, then you end up, you know, getting little bits here and there off, and it's more of a pain. But let's see. Let me try again. This one really wants to stick. Oh, there we go. And I'm just pushing on the bottom there so that it will come off. If I pulled like this, a lot would stay back on, I think. All right. Let's see if it made a difference. I'll hold on to that just in case. I'm going to end up with ink all over my fingers today. Oops. Yes, it would be easier if I had a smaller and a flat surface would probably help. It didn't smudge that time. So I actually think it might have come out a little bit better without the foam, but I don't know. Maybe it's probably about the same. Except for the smudge. But I didn't smudge it so bad this time. All right, I'm going to cut out that one. I like that one better. Ooh, suddenly hungry. The D is there. Uh, and it is easier to put this glue on the paper because it goes on smoother. When you try to put it on, well, this one, oh, this time it's doing it all right. But earlier it just kept getting stuck on the thing there we go and then when it dries if I want to cut around that I can it's hard to line it up perfectly but that's all right so when it dries I'll probably will cut around it just so that I can see better when I'm using the acrylic block the only ones that I haven't done yet are like um, the other minis of these that I had because I wanted to make sure it worked good first because um, they take up quite a lot of space. So yeah, this is a this is a thing I did, and now my um, I think my stamps I won't be able to fit them in one drawer, probably one and a half drawer, and then the um, stencils will be will fit in that rest of that half drawer. All right, they do not all come off, and I don't have a fingernail right now, so. Let's see, what do we do if it won't come off? I don't know. And um, there are not many of these wood mounted stamps that I bought new. So I tried to get in between the foam. There we go. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to warp the stamp. So I'm using my thumb and I'm pushing towards the bottom like that because I don't want to warp the stamp. And I don't know if it'll warp, but I'm not taking that chance, are you? And then, I mean, I could do the stamp before, but I kind of like to do it after just so I can see. I know, I'm just sitting around with like open scissors, open, just driving everybody nuts. That's what I do. And if I have enough of the pink paper, I'll li I'd like that they all are the same. Although, what I could even do is I could color them by theme. You know what I mean? So, I, and I like that idea. You know, I could put all nature ones green, all kitchen ones blue, or, some, or all ocean ones blue, and all kitchen ones something. So this one I'm just going to kind of do a loose fussy cut. Not gonna have to go too close around. So my scrap because there's always a little bit left on there. And make sure that's the bottom, that's the bottom. And glue that on there. Ah. Oh, 
yeah, see, it does this. Oh, that's weird. It was doing that the other day. It wasn't going on smooth on the rubber part, but it seems to be doing better today. There we go. Another one bites the dust. That's why we got rid of one, two, three blocks so far of today. There's another T1. Right now, I was today I was just kind of, with all my pockets and stuff, I was just using up some um, which, um, uh, cardstock and scrapbook paper that I probably won't use in a journal to get them out of my, oh, I just got glue in here. How did that happen? How do I get it off? How, 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 where are my paper towels? the glue off. No glue on my ink pad. Ugh, probably breaking down the pad itself, huh? I don't know. I can't believe I did that. I don't know. Don't know if that's the solution when you get glue on your thing or not. I don't have the right size. Wow, that really got... Well, this was one from a thrift store, so it's already pretty dark. I got a lot of ink on there. came out cute though and that one says thinking of you on the bottom and you know what I don't want it to say thinking of you on the bottom I just want a cute little teapot I'm gonna have to use my precision I don't want to use my precision scissors but there is tiny little there's not much space there probably should put on my hold on gotta put on some glasses for this so I'm cutting off the words. It's what I do. It's a thing that I do. I just, if I don't want the words on there, sometimes I cut them off. Um, for the coffee ones, I did not cut them off, but I try, if I don't want the words on there, I just don't ink it. This is so close. I, there's no way you could do it without inking the words. So let's see if we, uh, Hopefully still have enough left to have a stamp. Got out of the store. Not overly concerned about it. Alright. That's the only one I need to see like really close. Little tiny lines, but almost looks as if you just have the teapot trying to tip. You know, pour me over and out. Um, so yeah, that's what I do if there's words that I don't want because I might just want to have a teapot and a journal. I don't want to put thinking of you in a journal. Works for a sentiment for a card, not so much for a journal. There, and now I'll be able to see a little better the orientation when I'm trying to stamp it down. since I, I kind of fussy cut it first for that purpose little tiny teapot no words I will have, I'll have a box with the little ones in it and like this one I could have cut it square but I didn't maybe next time if I turn them into a, if I color coordinate them okay don't need that don't need that see don't have to store those just throwing them away woohoo all right I was worried that was a crack, but I guess it's just a fold. Um, I'm going to do these on a... Oh, no, I still have plenty of this pink paper. Oh, the reason I haven't done these yet is because I don't have the big acrylic. And I did not save one of these um, blocks. It didn't occur to me. And it didn't occur to me that I didn't have a big um, acrylic block either. So my cardstock from... See, like just bright colors I wouldn't normally use, but I had all this cardstock from when I taught preschool at Sunday school, Sunday school preschool, because you know, you have arts and crafts and you want to have plenty of colors to choose from. So yeah, these, all these stamps, 
I'm, I did and um, because I want to I wasn't getting a clear this is what brought this idea in the first place I had done these on fabric and I, it just wasn't dark and then I had done something else where I double stamped it but I didn't have my precision stamp things yet and I was like oh okay well when I get my precision stamper which I had press stamp press which I already ordered I was like I could just do that and then I was like oh wait I can't they got big blocks on them so I took the blocks off and I do have this I have one piece of foam so if I need it I've got it and I'll just you know use my double-sided um, temporary tape to uh, use it I'll just cut like a four by six piece so I'll have it for anything I think and then some different sizes <clears throat> just in case I need it for thickness on the press. So, and then this one, I think it was from um, J.C. Penny or something like that. I don't know. I found it online. It's, it's like fr the friendship, kindness, loving something, cherish. I don't know. But I think it was like already warped. Like even though, even when it was on the block, I, c I could never get the whole thing. So I was like, well, that's not going to hurt it to uh, take it off of there. So yep, today I will be, you know, putting back some of my stamps and organizing some more stamps. Um, and yep, that's that's what I did with my stamps. Trying to organize them and break them apart. Oh, it's such a cute little nest. And all these little stamps that would have taken this big box are now going to fit probably in something more like... I bet they'll fit in this now and they would have been probably not even fit in this with their things so I'm excited I'm excited to get organized I'm excited to have um, you know I am gonna take all I have a whole bunch of these types and so yes I am going to take care of those too and they'll fit in here with these and that one's kind of small too so yeah I'm that's it. That's all. That's that's the thing I did, and that's what I'm working on today. Um, oh, and I find I'm obsessed with like like holders. Like I think this. I don't know what that kind of holders in kitchen area. So like the things that have the slots, I buy all the time, and I'm really glad I do because then I can fit them in the drawer, and my things will. When I take something out, everything's not going to fall over. You know what I mean? And I can still see what I'm doing. So, like, so let's see. Here's an example of these, env these envelopes that I made. Uh, hold on. I think a stencil one would be easier to show you. I know I just keep telling you to hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so... I just took a piece of cardstock, nine and a half, eight and a half by eleven. Sorry, Fold, uh, folded in half an inch on each side. Do you want me to show you or not? Let's see. You don't need that information. I uh, fold in half inch on each side, and fold half an inch on the bottom, and then I fold it up. Keep doing that about three inches. Um. And then I thought I had one already cut and I could show you. I cut it like I do the um oh my goodness, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Alright, I'm just gonna show you. In case you want to do this idea. On the, and then of course the size you do is gonna depend on the length of your drawer. So if you don't have one of these, that's okay. Just do the best you can. I do find it easier for projects like this where I have a lot. Oh, and then I just cut these nine inches. Well, these were eight and a half inches, but when I did the cardstock, I cut them nine inches. So that's the size I'm using. But your size will depend on what space you, what size space you have. What did I do with the cover for my? I don't know. And I just saw my bone folder. Where did it go? Seriously, just saw it. Here's one. Alright, so, 
Now I can never get it straight if I go all the way to the end here. Oh crud. So I start at my half and I go ahead and sorry that was just I forgot to do the thing so I don't now I'm gonna have to rotate my video. Hate when that happens. Okay, stay straight. Half an inch here, and then I turn it because I'm just I have a hard time doing it on that side. Half an inch here. And then here, I think I was doing three and a half inches because I wanted the back taller than the front. And I just wanted to be able to, you know, have something to corral them basically. And then cut at an angle here, cut at an angle here, and cut down this line here. And do the same on the other side. Cut at an angle here. Cut at an angle here. And then cut down this side. And then you fold these two pieces in and these two pieces in. And glue. Try not to get it on here though because then your whole thing will stick together. So glue one on one side, glue one on the other side. Apparently I can't do straight when I'm standing up. Fold these, so hold this in, kind of tuck that in so that they are both inside. Wipe off any excess glue, which if you're like me, probably would have. And then if you do have that bold folder, it's a good idea to go ahead and do that. And if I had my straight one, it would be better. And then just kind of go that while the glue is drying to kind of get it to seal really well. Maybe not have paint on there. So now you have a nice pocket which has some room because of the way we glued it. Um, it gives us a little more space. And then we can take our other cut ones just to be able to separate. I didn't need those for the stamps, just for the stencils. Because I think you re I think you know that stencils get caught on each other. Now what I could do here is take all my thin ones. What's a thin one? These are a little thicker. These ones are thinner. Where are my hyacinth one is? Ooh, if that one's not here, then that means I do have a big block somewhere. Oh, not hyacinth. Um, it's right here. Hydrangea. That's the word I was looking for. Do I have another one of these? Don't know if I could fit three rows of these or not. Yeah, pretty much. Christmas. Probably will go with Christmas ones. And that one I use a lot. So I think this one, I want to stick it in there. So I'm just going to put that there or put it behind it. And put it like that. There we go. So look at all those stamps I was able to fit in there. Now they won't fit in that little holder, but nice thing about those little holders is if you have enough that fill most of the drawer, then the rest of the drawer, you can just stick the thick ones in. So yeah, that is what I was working on this, this week. Did my macro sorting. Now these were too long, so up here where they had the little hanging thing. I just cut them off the top. Of course, with the one that had the bunny on it, I just cut off, just cut off to where it is. And so I wouldn't cut off the bunny ears. But because my pockets are like this, that's okay. He still fits. So yeah, it's worked out, fortunately. And if I couldn't do that, um, I don't know what I would have done because I'm not 
losing my bunny. I guess he just would have had to like go on the would have had to made a bigger pocket for him and put him on the side, I guess. I don't know. Fortunately, so far, all my stencils, except for the 12x12 12 12 one, I have one 12x12. 12 12. All my stencils except the 12x12 12 12 fit in that drawer. And the 12x12 12 12 one is still in its ori original packaging. So it has a little, um, it has, it's still in its original packaging. So it has, you know, the little thing to hang it on. So I have a little hook on the side of the drawers here where I hang that, this little command hook, which is also sometimes where like I'll hold a cord to keep it from falling on the floor so I don't have, I'll put a, like lay a cord over it or tap, like use a, what's the word I want? Put a binder clip on the cord, like to attach the cord to the, to, uh, on, I, oh my goodness. Basically, I put a binder clip on the cord and then put it on the hook and the binder clip helps keep it from coming off and close the hook. The hook I have is kind of you flip it up and it closes. So I hope I've given you some ideas for organizing some of your things. I may or may not have a video of a before and after. I did do a before. It's kind of scary to put up that kind of a before. It was, it was really bad. It's still not great. It's still a mess. But um, I'm getting there. It's not as bad as it was, and I'm still working on it. I haven't given up yet. So have a delightful day, everybody.